Yeah, all right, there we have it. We have Elsie, it, it's Elsie Wameo. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get it twisted. Um, so first of all, she has a very dope accent, by the way, you guys, let me just tell you. So, Kizungu Leo, no me leona panda mlima, that's when you're boots. Yeah, like quite literally. Anyway, uh, welcome to, yes, <laughs> in case you're joining us right now, this is Teen Republic, the biggest, the, best, the hardest, the latest entertainment show on the land. And before I uh, talk to, we catch a chat with Elsie, I want to wish a happy birthday uh, to, wait, 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 like this baby is watching the show all day from Korea, so I've just dropped, uh, so uh, her name is Janet Odeo and it's her birthday today. Big shout out, happy birthday to you, Janet. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. You Celebrate, love it? man. Yeah. Let's go eat a cake on her behalf, right? <laughs> For sure. We, it only we're going to do it yeah. after the show. It only makes sense. Why not? Why not? Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I feel like sun's out. En yeah. Energy here is always buzzing, so I'm awesome. For sure. How's Nairobi so far? Oh, man. There's a lot. I feel like the culture, there's so much. There's from live music to the yeah. people to the food. Mm. I'm chilling. I'm good. What, 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 when was the last time you were here? Is it your first time or were, like, were you like born here, then you traveled? Or yeah, you I was born here. So I left when I was about seven years old. Mm -hmm. And then I, I mean, we've come back every like two, three years. But I've come back 2023 to kind of base myself here mm. now. Yeah, so I've been here for like, I think one and a half years now it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Um, so when you when you left at uh, seven years of age, you were pretty young. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure you you know you can remember at least. So. Oh yeah. Where did you travel to? What country were you at? Um, oh wait, where did I go first? Yes. Uh, we landed straight in Australia, Adelaide, mm -hmm. Australia, yeah. and that's where we've been ever since. Um, and yeah, I mean, do you know it's interesting because I yeah I I was quite young. I do have like valuable memories from yeah. like here, so mm -hmm. I definitely feel that. I at least got a little something yeah, before I left, but yeah, we went straight to Adelaide, Australia, South mm. Australia. What was what was your like culture shock when, when, once you? Oh got man, there? so many things. How much time do we have? Yeah. Um, the temperature, the environment—it's very hot. Australia is a desert, mm. so at like midnight, it's thirty degrees Crazy. for no reason. Um, food as well. And then I think just like mannerisms, like people are just different. Mm. You look different. I'm black. They're like, it's yeah. just basic. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it was um, just everyday lifestyle. Like everything was definitely different. But you loved it. Yeah, for the most part. For the most part. I think I learned to love it when I was a bit older. Because, mm. you know, when you're a child, there's so many things that happen and you don't even realize. Um, but I feel, yeah. It's Got you. There's good and bad. Yeah. But I sure. think, I thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and your music. Yeah, man. When did you realize you could do music? Um, I think it was a gradual thing. Mm. So I, I started singing in church. Wow. And, you know, I loved singing and I loved worshiping and I still do. And my dad actually, big lover of music. So he is the one that took me to a local studio. And I sat amongst now like industry heads, mm. like really, really cool, talented people. Oh. And I mean, I was just singing. I didn't really plan on doing anything. Mm. But um, I think it was just the encouragement of like the people that were around me that were like, you know what? Like you can really sing. So I, yeah, I really just um, kind of delved into it. And I found that it was just my pocket of peace. And I found that it was my point now to kind of figure out my discourse with my everyday life of being a Kenyan living in Australia. And yeah, now here I am with you. <laughs> Interesting. Um, when, when I look at your music videos, they're really well detailed. Like you can tell there's a very huge investment that has been made. Yeah. Um, who, who, what's the thought process behind it and the brains behind it as well? Maybe the, the creative directors, the producers yeah. and everything, yeah? Yeah, I mean, when we started, so uh, Nylotic, the first project that I did, it was honestly a lot of my own work. So I, I wrote, I produced, I directed that whole project. And I worked with really amazing like videographers and cinematographers anyway. But majority of the work was like the outfits I was making at home the night before and things like that. Coming now to like Saint Sinner, the album, I've worked with really amazing mm. like artists and creators here in Kenya. Like... Yeah. On video now, I worked with uh, Omoke. Um, ah, on Omoke, yeah, shout yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Omoke. I worked with him for a couple of videos, and then I worked with another guy called Danny Skilton. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the times, I mean, I'm very particular with my work. I'm very, very, very particular. 
So I'll just sit down with, yeah, whether it's the director or the stylist or whoever it is, and yeah. I'll kind of just tell them exactly what I want. <laughs> and um, they kind of, yeah, bring that to life in the best way possible and add their touch and their little flair. And yeah, man. Are you looking forward to staying in Nairobi for longer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My goal is to, yeah, situate myself here. Permanently now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you know, the thing is, like, geographically it's just in the best position because mm. europe is just across like us is just across yeah. so like being able to pivot like when on tour and things like that mm. it just makes sense australia is far man yeah it is bro it <laughs> is, it is. Far. not that i've yeah. been there no but it's it's just yeah. far yeah so just being here like it just makes sense um but also there's a lot to learn for me i mean i feel like there's so many artists and like even shout out to a chico that was here just a yeah. second ago right like there's so many cool people out here so my goal is to just stay here and meet everyone and get integrated in the industry. The most interesting part, when, when I first met you, um, let me just tell guys, so I met her, she was doing an interview uh, at another you know, uh, TV station. Mm -hmm. And so I was, I, was waiting, I was waiting for her to get done with her interview. And then, you know, I don't want to talk to the artists. Maybe she has a manager, she has a whole entourage. That's what I thought, because yeah. that's what I've seen yeah. happen here. And I'm like, oh, you, you came alone? <laughs> How do you operate like that? Like, she's like, easy, I can just go do my interviews and everything yeah. and I'll just hack it. I'm a lone wolf, man. I mean, I think I'm very, um, I just like to get it done. Like, mm. I think if I can do it, like, if, why not, right? Like, I don't feel the need to have, like, if I'm going to an interview, why do I need 10 people deep type of thing? Yeah. Um, and it's always so lovely to have that support and everything. But I think I'm, I've just grown up such a lone wolf and... Mm. Yeah, I, I guess that's just how it is. I just ride alone, man. And something interesting to note is that uh, Lady, I don't know if I'll, I'll pronounce this right, uh, Lady Lisha. Le yeah. le it's Lisha. 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 Lisha, yeah. Lady Lisha and Masego. Yeah, man. Um, have like taken a keen interest. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. How, I uh, met Lady Lisha a very long time ago, right? So the first time I met her was, I think it was like 2019. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I hadn't even started like wow. my music. Mm -hmm. So I think I had one single out and I was asked to play a festival in Australia called Groove in the Moon. And she was playing the same festival. And yeah, I met her then. She was headlining and she was just really dope. And I think um, her being from the UK as well, I really just like loved her vibes yeah. and... Um, yeah, later we played another festival with, yeah, Masego, who was also very sweet. And yeah. he's so, I don't know, like, I remember after the show, we kind of just, like, sat in this van and we just, like, spoke about life. Like, it was just so random because yeah. you don't expect that from someone like him. For but, sure. yeah, he was just so down to earth. And I think there's some really dope artists that are out there that are, you know, just, like, real genuine and, like, show a lot of love. So, yeah, they're Good dope. Stuff. And uh, as, as I wind up, you have seen, I've, I've seen you perform. Mm -hmm. And there's a way you own the stage. Even from me, even from studio, like I could easily tell, like you're like, oh, this is uncomfortable. My sweater is uncomfortable. Let me just get Word. rid of it. <laughs> like it's so natural. Um, do you have like maybe a, a, someone who's been training you on this, or is it just something? <laughs> uh, nope. I, 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 I'm, this is gonna be me, Elsie, and I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's anything, do you know what? I would give props to. So in school back in Australia, like, music is compulsory. So I had uh, a singing lessons teacher. So I had like vocal coaching and stuff, mm. and she also taught me just like presence. And I think I'm already a very. I think on stage I'm very. I have I have a character behind me. You yeah, know you I'm do, saying? you do. Yes, I, I can say it. <laughs> you know, so I feel um, I already kind of had it in me, but she definitely um, tweaked and and kind of told me about how like you know if you're singing a song like don't sing the whole verse over here like you've got people over here and just like being able to interact with everyone and making sure that that story is being told well. So I would give props to her, but half of the time I'm just having fun, man. <laughs> Interesting. And um, when you're here in Nairobi, what does the future look like? We're going into close to the festive season, can I call it that? Because yes. we're in August, going to um, now September, October, and mm -hmm. December. We have a lot of gigs coming up and everything. Yeah. Should we expect to see you in uh, most of the stages in Nairobi? I, do you know what, fingers crossed. I'm really looking to, I'd love to, someone actually yesterday, we were talking about blankets. I think mm. blankets is happening, yeah. which would be really fun, yeah. Bro. So yeah, I mean, fingers crossed, you see you in a festival somewhere, but otherwise I'd really love to have a headline somewhere in Nairobi, so yeah. Definitely tune in. Sure. It's coming. Well, what, what's your favorite? Uh, now, let's talk about food. Oh, talk to me nice. Okay, yeah. cool. What, what's your go-to? Oh, man. In I Nairobi, mean, especially. Oh, I feel like Chapo Dengu. Chapo Dengu is yes. your... Yes. That's my favorite. That's a favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I were to take you on a date, Chapo Dengu will do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be very satisfied. Asha Sema, live yeah. on TV. We need this very, cut. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll be very take if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Anything Honestly, else? I'd be very yeah. satisfied. That is um, number one. Yeah, that's like number one. I yeah. feel, oh man, do you know the goodness about Kenya is everything is just good. So like, oh, Sm have you tried Smoky Paswa? You know Smoky Paswa? Ages ago, I haven't had it for a while. You haven't had it? I mean, I've like I've had it before, but a long yeah. time ago. A long time. Yeah, no, but yeah, not yeah. like when, when you when you buy. Nah, 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 nah. Not yet. Yeah, maybe that's what we need to try. Like yeah. street food. Interesting. And that. We will we'll yeah. try a couple of street. Yeah. Food. Since you're now in Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Interesting. Sure. But yeah. I, I'm a food lover. Take me anyway on the sea and I'm good. <laughs> there we have it. Elsie Omeo is here live and direct. We have to give you your flowers. Your, your music is Thank amazing. You. Your stage presence is dope. Thank and you. the music videos as well. Thank TV you. TV quality. Good stuff. The best of the best. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, one last jam for you, to, mm -hmm. for, for us. And yes, uh, the stage is yours. And uh, yeah, so anyway, where can guys find you on social media? Where can guys get your music yeah. as well? Um, everywhere. I mean... E L S Y W A M E Y O L C W M E O. It's not an I E. It's E L S Y. Um, Instagram, Twitter. We call it X now, right? Mm. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Honestly, anywhere you find me, um, go stream the album. Saint Sinner is out now, my debut album. But yeah, you'll find me anywhere and everywhere. Just Google the name, and I'll be there. Interesting. And uh, wait, one last minute before I allow you to perform um, the album. Ochiko yes. told me like there were, for him he had like close to. You know, a lot of jams. Yes. How do you, uh, how are you able to choose what fits into your album, what goes into an EP and what? Right. I mean, my, so my music is very, again, <laughs> particular. So like mm -hmm. the album, we went to camp for two weeks and it was very, very specific. So it wasn't even the music. So for me, it's a healing, it's growth. And honestly, we had a lot of just like, um, like prayer sessions mm. we, we spoke a lot so the music that comes out is very authentic to the story so a lot of the stuff that we make is never far off from what i want so when it comes to the selection process it's actually almost like we have too much what do we do yeah. but everything always fits because where we start off is very divinely and precisely curated so everything we make is just going to sit in that journey Interesting. I like the way. Wait, have you trained to do like media interviews? There's a way you're answering your questions and everything. You're very composed. I'm not you trained. Come to Japan, but in the <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm those. Nah, man. Do you know what? I feel like I don't. It's just me, man. Let me tell you. God is good, right? I feel like I just am. I, I just do. If it's anything, let mm -hmm. me say this right here. So, like when I was young, yeah. I always wanted to be a journalist. So I want to sit in your seat. <laughs> I've always wanted to be like, so what's good? Like, tell us about. Yeah. I love chatting. I love, but I, I don't know, man. On a jack soiling? Yeah, Kapsa. Kapsa. Okay, maybe now I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> this is live television. Uh, I do. No, no, uh, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but Kidogo uh, happened up palace, no? No, I feel like, you know, it depends on who's asking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know enough to survive for sure. For sure. In yeah. Nairobi. Yeah. Una panda mat. Apana. Kwanini. Only because, okay, I feel like my family or like just my mom, like she's not here. But I think if I was to get on a mat, she'd probably like throw a slipper just because of safety. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I mean, I, I have here and there, but I think it's just a safety thing. So you think matatus are unsafe? No, I think it's for you now. Like maybe you're uh, used to the culture already. And, and yeah, yeah. Around. I think yeah. for me, because do you know the thing is like when, because I don't know the environment here, right? Like mm -hmm. I don't like if I was driving in Nairobi, I don't know how the drivers are thinking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So like because I haven't been here long enough, but if I'm if I think I if I stay for like another year or so, I'd be calm because I would oh, know I the mannerism, yeah, I would yeah, yeah. know what goes. Because I, dude, if I got in a mat right now, I wouldn't even know who to pay. I wouldn't even know who to <laughs> like. I just don't. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Interesting. I like I'm how honest you are. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh yeah. That, that's healthy for you guys. So Stephanie, with his street food, na kuna kupanda matri. Cool. Tick tick. Interesting. Live and direct. DJ Rick, are we ready? <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Elsie Wameo, please go support her. Yes, Give sir. her gigs and everything. Looking forward to seeing you across stages in Thank Nairobi you. and everything. Yeah? Thank you big, so much. Big shout out, big shout out. Thank